Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to show you how to create a drying app using the Flutter framework and the Flutter drying mode package. This tutorial will guide you through the steps to build a fully functional drying app from scratch. So let's get started and bring your creativity to life with Flutter. First of all, you need to uh, install this package. Uh, so go to the browser and search for it. Copy this uh, and uh, Paste inside your pubspeak.yml and publish it. So uh, I remove the a the code and let's get start with our code for uh, the drawing app. So first we need to run app inside the main function and we set the debug show mode banner of as false and. Uh, we will create here a class, straightforward class of drawing app. Uh, so we set it inside home. Here we will return the skip fold. And I think you all will know this is just a simple UI. So we are creating a simple UI, a, a bar, and then we will use the drawing app package. So here I am using the text as a title for the a, a bar. A simple a bar with the blue background and the text. So now we will use the drawing board. So first we need to import the library of that, uh, so copy this and uh, paste at the top. And here it needs, uh, it requires a background, so here container is background for the drawing board. A simple container with the white uh, color and 600 uh, height and width. Okay, now here we will set a true and so this will be, uh, this both will set to true. Now, just if it is not uh, res just for to restart your app, and you can see now it is working fine, and the drawing board is working, and you can see it, and you can use. All its tools. Now let's dive into the code for saving the drive. We will be using a method called save drive. So uh, for now. We are creating a floating action button for uh, that action and their purpose of uh, saving the drawing with the child up uh, icon, save icon, and with the background color up uh, blue. So here we are setting blue is a background color for that floating action button. So it will look uh, perfect. Good. Now we are setting uh, the icon color is white. So color is dot white. So now there is a property of uh, trying board which is a controller. So for this, we need to create a controller of drawing board. So here we are creating a controller of drawing board. Now set it as later, so it will initialize lately. Here we are not initializing it. So put that controller is uh, zip controller required. Now we are creating the method. 
for saving the no, for saving or drying. So it is a future asynchronous function. It name save drying. And we are using a try catch block to handle any potential errors that may might occur during the save process. So if any occur any error occurs during the process, they are cut and printed. So here we will print the error. Okay, we will print uh, the error. Error saving drawing and print data error. Be perfect. Now we attempt to get the image data from the drawing board controller. So we will create a variable. With uh, so this will get the uh, image data from the drawing board controller. Okay. Now we are using a if else condition. If there is no image data available, so uh, we will print a message and exit the function. You can see if key image data is null, so it will print no image data and it will uh, exit the function. You turn and it will exit all right. Now, if the uh, there is a data image data, so now we uh, define a path. We will define a path where the image will be saved. This path is within the pictures directory on the device. So we are defining the path. So to save this image uh, data, this image. Light. If the directory is not uh, exist, so we will get uh, directory. So here, if the directory is not available, so you will create uh, it. Okay. Now we are creating a file at the, spec at the specified path and uh, write the image data to it. For saving the image, okay. So we create a file at the specified path. Okay, now we are uh, writing the image data to the path, the, to the earth file. Okay. 
Okay. So here we will uh, write that image data dot buffer dot Yes, and at least so we are done. And here, after that, we will uh, print that uh, image is saved successfully. Drawing image or uh, drawing saved at that part. Now we will now we are using the same uh, method inside our uh, floating action button when the user unpressed on it uh, that function will be called all right but uh, it is not working why um, I had to load it but Still, it is not working fine. Okay. Okay, it is not initialized the controller. So, we just need to initialize the controller. So, here we are. Uh, here. We will initialize the controller inside the init state method. Right. We just need to create an init state method and uh, initialize the controller with drawing mode. After that, we will dispose that uh, method in the uh, we don't need further for using the controller the light we are done so now just hard reload just hard reload the app and you are done so just uh, draw something simple and uh, try to save it to check uh, is it working and saving or not so I'm just trying a simple design for checking is it working fine or not okay I light so just uh, save that uh, drawing is it uh, saying okay console are providing message that uh, the drawing saved at that part but we are checking is it uh, stored successfully or not so just go to your file or go to your storage and check okay. so I'm checking is my drawing is uh, um, saved or not so you can see my drawing is successfully saved that's how it works fine and you can draw more and you can save your drawing Okay, it is working fine. You can also share your drawing if you want. So, the data is stopping sometime, but uh, leave it. I just wanted to uh, show you how it works. And you can create more drawing and you can save.
we were trying thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like subscribe and share my video see you in the next exciting and best video thank you